Hi, welcome to Lynette's Beauty Box. And today is a fall a day. Get it? Holiday. Haha. -ha. Anyway, so I thought that we would um, talk about my recent home ish haul. So if you're interested in that, just keep watching. Okay, welcome. So the last couple of days we got our taxes back. And so we had a little shopping spree. Now, for all of you who don't know, I am um, bipolar. And occasionally I do have some manic episode um i am a power shopper i mean i can go into like walmart and marty could say to me i need pants and i would be like and that's what happened yesterday he said we went to walmart because he needed pants he has a hernia and um it's, I guess it's going to be June before he can get to uh, Fayetteville, unless they're able to do it up here. I don't know if he has to talk to a doctor with the VA, or if they're just going to schedule surgery. I don't know exactly what this is going to entail. But, um... So, until we really find something out, you know. Anyway, so, he needed, because he wears jeans all the time, and um, I told him he needs to wear, you know, looser pants that aren't bothering him so much. Cause the hernia he has is um, in the groin. And um, so his balls hurt a lot. And I mean, I, I feel bad for the guy. I mean, who wants to go around with their balls hurting? I personally have balls. Um, I carry them in my purse and they're brass. But, you know, So, um, basically what, uh, we decided to do was, um, since we had gotten our taxes and we really hadn't spent any of the, um, the money from them, we were just, you know, really trying to wait until some of these businesses open back up because, You know, it's, it's craziness. I mean, there's very few places open, but, um, and I'm very particular about what kind of pants that I buy Mari. Because, you know, I mean, he's, he's not, you know, one of these young, you know, hip hop and guys. I mean, you know, so it, the pants have to fit right, and if they don't fit right, then he's very complainy-ish. So we want to have pants for him that fit really good. So we went to Walmart, like I said, and of course, there was something that I wanted at Walmart. Um, and that was kind of my reason. I was like, I'll trick him. And <laughs> not really, but I kind of did. Anyway, um, so we went to Walmart and he was like, um, do you want pants? He's like, I want pants. So um, I asked him what kind. He told me like the pull-on sweatpants type. And 
So I was like, well, I've got to find them. So we went to, we're in the men's section and cause he wasn't feeling well. So he's on a cart. And then I was like, okay. I said, I'm going to go this way and you just meet me on the other side. And by the time he got there, I had literally grabbed four pairs of pants, three pairs of shorts and three shirts. And he was like, what is that? And I'm like, well, you said you wanted pants. So there you go. So anyway, so I'm a power shopper. Um, it could be that um, what makes me so good at power shopping is the fact that I'm bipolar. And if I have a man manic episode, um, you know, um, it just happens that way. Anyway, but so I've been wanting a new cricket. And because I have the original baby bug and you can't get cartridges for it anymore. Um, unless you go online through the back alleys of the internet to find something, but you're not going to find anything new. So, and I'm a paper crafter and a scrapbooker, so I wanted a brand new Cricut. And I've been looking and looking and looking, reading reviews. Um, doing research, and I finally found the cricket I want. Um, Marty, will you bring me the cricket box? This cricket is heavy and it's beautiful because I don't want to strain myself. But I can cut out like vinyl and stuff, and so I'm really think. You know, gonna do some fun projects that way. But here is the cricket that Marty got for me. And um, this is the cricket maker. Like I said, it's it's heavy. Oh Lord, it's heavy, but um, it is definitely worth its weight, and it weighs 500 pounds in gold. So. We needed a new paper shredder. Marty got me this one. He bought this one um, from Pin and Gear. Um, it is a really good, it's a micro cut paper shredder. And um, we needed a new one because um, our old one, I burnt it up, literally. I thought you could put in like CDs into it to like shred it or whatever. <clears throat> but apparently that's not the kind of paper shredder I had. But this one does shred credit cards, so I'm happy about that. Now, Marty got me something really special. Something I've been wanting and wanting for a long time. And it's gonna show my age, but he got me this record player. Now, I'm 48 years old, and I remember being a teenager, playing records, um, even when I was, you know, younger, playing records. And then we bought, I did not realize how expensive records were. Oh my gosh. I bought four records. I bought the Bruno Mars one. And literally, every time I put it on, it skips. It's brand new, but it skips. So I'm going to try to clean the lint or do something hokey, freaking hokey. Anyway, and then I've got um, two Queen records. I got my favorite record from Queen, and that's A Night at the Opera. And then we got um, a Coltrane record. I bought that one for Marty because I know he loves jazz and I had never heard of John Coltrane before. I know the internet is shuddering. Oh, oh no! But, you know, what can you do? And then um, I also um, while we were at Walmart and I was like 
you know, trying to drive this big, huge cart around, I did not realize that Walmart closed. I mean, have I been living under a rock? Probably so. Probably so. But, I mean, I don't know. It, it definitely must be a rock situation. So, anywho. Um, and then, um, so, I've been really into gardening. So, I did go today and I got a couple more plants. I got a wisteria bush, um, a rose, little tiny rose bush for Marty because he loves that stuff. And, um, and a bunch of like big, huge pots, which I would love to plant stuff in the ground, but I live in an apartment and um, my um, apartment manager has told me on several occasions that I can't do that. Anyhow, one of the things that I did pick up was this premium vinyl and it's a black shimmer. And I'm going to, because my office, aka my bedroom, in my corner, my office corner, I'm going to put, um, like, like Lynette's office or, um, Lynette's corner or, I just might put Lynette's beauty box up above my, um, computer. But I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that yet. I've been trying to organize and organize. I have like a ton of stickers. So um, instead of them being crowded in a box and getting all bent and yucky. So I bought like four or five of these pinning gear little um, envelopes. And they have a snap on them. And they would be really good if you're doing a, like a small like card making project or something like that be perfect for to put in here i have been looking if anyone lives in springfield or in this area southwest missouri um i've been looking for some macrame rope no i don't macrame i mean i do just about every other type of craft known to man but i don't macrame but marty does and um, I've gotten a lot of requests from friends and people who want to buy his macrame stuff. So um, if anyone knows of any place that I can get some macrame um, jute and rope that, you know, doesn't want to charge me an arm and a leg, um, comment down below, please. So I picked up... I've, I love the clearance aisle at Walmart. I'm like, oh, clearance! So I did find a couple of boxes of these rubberized non-slip plastic hangers from Better Homes and Gardens for Marty because he wants me to redo his closet. I redid mine a while back and I have these, they're all, they're all purple hangers. Um, I like everything to you know coordinate or whatnot and i really hate seeing like um some red hangers and some blue hangers and some white hangers if that's your stick no shade to you whatsoever but it drives me absolutely crazy so um that is what one of my projects was and then i had to pick up some new um furniture ish type situation my cubicle is breaking in the worst way i have another white shelf on the other side my books are so heavy that my bookshelves my shelves are bowing so i bought two i bought a five um shelf bookshelf that i did not realize was um almost as tall as my ceilings and then we got some new cubicles and I built them in nothing flat. 
I wanted a new cubicle because my old one does not hold my scrapbook papers, which are 12 by 12s, and that's hard to store. So, but I did go up to Target today and I found some of these, um, they're like storage bins, but they fit in the 13 inch cube organizers. Really pretty, like, um, gray polka dots and um, with a white background. Then I also, I got two of those and then I got this, this just, it's just regular gray, kind of looks like gray burlap. So, and I'm going to kind of stagger them a little bit. 